Hello. We have a measurement video here on the surface area of a cylinder. Let's check it out. Okay, surface area of a solid is the sum of all the areas of all the faces. Now, that's true of uh, solids with faces, but uh, in a cylinder we have a curved surface as well, but we'll kind of count it as a face, just for the sake of argument. The steps for finding the surface area. We find the area of each face, and we add up all the areas. Okay, here we have a cylinder. Now you'll notice there's a circular shape on the top and a circular shape of the same size on the bottom. And we'll have a curved section around the middle there. We'll have a radius and we'll have a height. So let's find the area of each face. Now we've got two circles there. So, so far we have the surface area. We'll need to count those two circles. Each of those circles has an area formula of pi r squared. So we'll have two pi r squareds. So that accounts for the two circles. And we have one curved section in the middle. Now that curved section, it's made up of, well it actually can be spread out into being a big rectangle actually. If I could draw straight. It's a big rectangle. Now that rectangle is made up of h for height as you can see. Now this top edge is actually equivalent to the distance around the circle. Now you know that the dif distance around of the circle is called a circumference. So our circumference formula is 2 times pi times the radius, 2 pi r. Okay, so if we had a rectangle of that uh, to take into account how big that uh, curved area is around the middle. Uh, now the area of a rectangle is um, length times breadth. So we've actually got, if we multiplied 2 times pi times r, times the height, we would have the area of that middle section taken care of. So that's a long way around a way of saying that you can trust when I put down <laughs> 2 times pi times r times h. That 2 pi r section is the circumference around the top circle and we've times it by the height to account for the rectangular shape of that middle if we sliced it up and laid it out flat. But trust me, I'm a math teacher. So that's the surface area formula. Uh, 2 pi r squared, that's, they're the two circles. And 2 pi r h is the expression for the middle section area, the curved section around the middle. OK, so that's what we're going to trust for the rest of this bit. Let's have a look at uh, a question with some actual numbers in it. We have a radius at the top there of 8 metres. We're going to put that wherever there's an r in our uh, formula. And this is a height here of 20 metres. We're going to put it where the H is, or under where the H is in that formula. So we're setting out our work nicely. We're straight underneath this formula. We're going to put the numbers for this particular question. So 2 times pi times radius squared. In this case, we're going to be doing 2 times pi times 8 squared because, yep, you guessed that 8 is our radius at the top there. So that goes in where the R is. We'll also put it in over here as well, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. And we have 2 times pi times, we said the radius was 8, so the next number will be 8, and times h, and we look on our diagram, our height is 20. So we're really just using the formula to a good effect here. Yeah, straight underneath the formula, we're putting the numbers in from this particular question. That's how to set things out. We put all that in our calculator, we will have 1407.4 if we round it off to one decimal place. Now that's our number answer. You'll remember that in areas we use square units. Our original units in the question were metres, so if we need square units of that, we have square metres for our answer. So it's quite a complicated formula, but we only actually had to insert two numbers in there. We inserted the radius in two different spots and we inserted the height of 20 in another spot and we're just careful all these letters and symbols are beside each other so that's why I've inserted the multiplies when things are beside each other in algebra we remember that they're multiplying together so that's the surface area of a cylinder now we were given a radius there let's see the next example is a little bit different we have the uh, circles on the side this time and we have what we call a diameter of 14 millimeters net here. Now our surface area is based on radiuses. It's got R's in there, not D's. 
So let's adjust that straight away. We'll notice that uh, our diameter is 14 millimeters. Before we start working with our formula, let's find a radius from that. To go from a diameter to a radius, we divide by two. So the radius number we're going to be using for our formula is seven millimeters. So like in the previous question, we're filling in on the second line down, straight underneath the formula, the numbers from this particular question. Two times pi times seven squared, because seven was our radius we calculated. Two times pi times, now our radius is seven once again, we pop that number in there, second spot. And our height was, now this is an interesting one. Height is usually vertical but the height in cylinders can be the distance between the two circles. If it was a vertical drawn cylinder, it's pretty obvious that a height would be over here, but can you see that the six here is in the same sort of spot? It's the distance between the two circles. In a cylinder, be careful with that. Your height can actually be measured. Uh, the, one, the number you put in the end there can actually be measured on the horizontal scale. Uh, because it's kind of like a laid down cylinder, this example here. So it's another thing to be careful of there. So anyway, uh, the height I'm going to put in for my H is 6 and pop it all in my calculator with multiplies all in between it. I'll have to press 7 squared in there carefully in our calculator. Well, we get 571.8 units there. Now, surface area, once again, we're working with areas. Our original units was were millimeters, so if we want if we're working with millimeters and we need square units, you guessed it, our units will be millimeters squared. So a few things to look out for there. We can't just take the 14 as our number to put in here because it's not a radius. We need to calculate a radius of 7 to put in wherever the R is. I'll just make those connections here. And the height was a funny one because it wasn't sort of measured from the ground up. It was measured as the distance between the two circles in this case. So careful with that little bit there too. Okay, that's a, that's a tricky one, that one. A couple of things to, that could go wrong if we weren't paying attention. So that's a video on the surface area of cylinders. Lots of different parts there with different shapes, so we have to be careful. Anyway, well done, and uh, peterblakemaths.com is the place to go for all your mathematical needs. See you next time.